fun. It's one of the most important things in life. No, it isn't. And some of us have been working way too much lately. He's talking about you, Ben. <sighs> Which is why we're going to make Ben's mandatory day off the funnest day ever. <laughs> 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 Lots of fun having fun. <sighs> I can hear you. Tom, funnest is not a word. And your mandatory day off sounds anything but fun. You'll change your mind when we get to the fun museum. Look, it says right here, it's fun for everyone. Nothing is fun for everyone. Ben, fun is fun. Don't overthink it. <laughs> the fun bus is here. <laughs> hey, where's Ginger? Hey, guys. Bad news. I can't go to the fun museum. No! Hey, how come? My mom is making me clean my rooms today. Aw, oh, chin up, young man. We'll bring you back a soup fun deer. I'll just stay home and work. Not a chance, Ben. Oh, don't touch me! This mandatory day off is supposed to be fun. They're right, Ben. Go, please, and have some extra fun for me. Oh, poor Ginger. Huh? I can't believe I just said that. Okay, come on, everyone, all aboard the fun bus. Yeah! Fun bus, fun bus, fun bus! Bye, everyone! Have fun! <laughs> <laughs> I know I will. Ooh, I hope they have one of those fight simulators that makes you super dizzy. I hope they have a photo booth where you get to put on those old-time Wild West costumes. Pew, pew! My call train robber. I call lonely prospector who loves to dance but has a mule who never lets him lead. Um, yes, I will dress as a saloon owner who invents the first robotic bartender. Um... Okay, that's, uh, not oh, bad. yeah, that's a great one. <laughs> All right. Hello, and welcome to the Fun Museum, the museum of fun. Hey, you look really familiar. Yeah, where have we met? <clears throat> if we have not, now, when the doors open, you will safely enter exhibit number one, uh, the whitewater rafting experience. No, 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 no water. I will wait for you in the fun box. Uh -uh. No way, Ben. You're having fun whether you like it or not. Uh -oh. <laughs> Some people say that whitewater rafting is the most exciting of all the water sports. But the key to maximizing your rafting fun is preparation. Preparation? Here is recommended supply list for whitewater rafting experience that is fun. Interesting. One, a life vest. Mm -hmm. Two, a whistle. Correct. Three, Ugh, I've read instruction manuals that are more fun than this guy. Well, at least it can only get better. Now, are you ready to learn how fast this raft can go? Yeah! Oh! Okay, okay. Let us assume our water velocity measuring instrument traveled 10 meters in 32 seconds. To find the time it took to travel one meter, we just divide the distance the measuring instrument traveled 10 meters in 32 seconds by the time 0.3125 meters per second. Woo! Nailed it! Correct! <laughs> and for this, now you are designated king of fun. Hey, look, I'm the king of fun! Say cheese! Pictures are forbidden. Sorry. The only one around here who even knows how to have fun. When I try, someone always says, Ginger, that's not a toy. That doesn't even make sense. See this cable? Now it's an electric snake. See this stapler? Now it's a dragon that spits metal at deadly cable snakes. Ben's death chair is now a trampoline. Do not touch Ginger. I don't take orders from a box. <laughs> wow, 
Wow, those pie charts in the circus room were mind-blowing. And the Hall of Puzzles? Wow! Did you guys know there were that many ways to win a Sudoku? Nope, and I still don't. You were right, Tom. A trip to the Fun Museum is just what I needed. What? This place isn't fun at all. Sure it is. It says right on the tickets, it's fun for everyone. <clears throat> By now, you are asking, what is origin of fun? Uh, no. Well, the first <laughs> recorded of fun. instance of fun occurred during the reign of King Ramses VIII in the year 1129 before Common Era. Ancient fun. The best! Okay, that's it. We're leaving. No way! Uh, are you crazy? Uh, uh, oh, oh! You must complete a tour to exit. Yeah. <laughs> a toy, which I will prove, right? So boring. I'm so bored. b b, -b, -b boring If fun gets out of control, you may find yourself laughing. Ah, 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 ah. But what is laughter? And is it safe? Hmm, good question. <laughs> laughter involves the forceful exhalation of breath. At times, the breathing muscles can work so hard that laughing can make your heart beat as bad as exercise. Hey, Tom, catch! So boring. Ah! Oh, Angela! My help! My help! Unauthorized fun in the laughter room. <clears throat> Your unauthorized play is in violation of fun museum rules. Stop it, Tom. You're breaking the fun museum rules. Give me that unpredictably bad <laughs> educational heart. Give it! I want to get kicked out. Commencing removal protocol. Oh, finally. Charge! It wasn't a ride. It was punishment for breaking museum rules. Why are you so angry? I mean, no one was having fun until I got us kicked out. Tom, you obviously don't even know what fun is. <gasps> what? Uh, oh, hey, you guys were there. I mean, that place was forcing its boring idea of fun on us. Yeah, just like you did to Ben. But... Mm. I'm sorry, what? You told Ben that fun is the most important thing in life. So you forced him to go to the fun museum. But since it wasn't fun for you, you thought it wasn't fun for anyone. I, uh, I, I did, didn't I? She's right, Tob. But hey, it wasn't a total loss. Plus, we got us a soup fun deer. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. <laughs> What's all that noise in there? Oh! <laughs> All right, fun over. Show yourself so I can evict you for this noise violation. Oh, <laughs> so you want to play the hide and the seek, eh? <laughs> Found you! Aha! Ah. Nah, not there. Where are you? Come out, come out, wherever you are. I will turn this place upside right, outside down, and inside up if I have to. But I will find you! Oh, yes! Yeah. I will find you! <gasps> Someone's in there! Oh, no! Oh, no. <gasps> uh oh! Oh! <laughs> huh? <coughs> um. Aha! There you are! <laughs> hey! My sonic surfboard! Oh! Ah, oh, I, I hear noise, you know? So I come to investigate, and then... Maybe evict you, I don't know, but I could not find you, so, you know. Nice try, but no one was here. We were at the fun museum. No, but I heard, uh, I know I hear a noise say. Uh... Oh, please, at least try to come up with a better lie than that. It's true, it's true, I, I was say. Uh... Hey, 
Fun idea I'm having. Let's forget our problems with a game of hide and seek, okay? <laughs> I seek first. What? But you just destroyed our place. Ten, nine, better go hide. Huh? Eight, seven, hide, <gasps> hide, hide. Five. Yeah. Out of my way. No, guys, he's trying to make us leave. Someone will be easy to find. Five. Uh -huh. <laughs> Look at him, running, <laughs> laughing, so cheerful. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe they do know Three, how to have fun. Two, one, zero. Ready or not, here comes landlord. Or maybe a spontaneous game of hide and seek really is the one thing that's fun for everyone. <laughs> oh, you are it. <laughs> Let's see, backpacks, sleeping bags, lanterns. Oh, sunscreen. Check. Cool shades. Check. Hacky sack. <laughs> the sack is in the pack. Great. I think we've got everything we need for the annual best friend camping trip. Now to pack it all. Hank, I'll let you get started. I gotta take care of the thing with the deal. Huh? <laughs> ah! Whoa! Phew! Whoa! How'd you fit all that in? The secret is to roll your underwear into tubes. Whoa, 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 huh? whoa, 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 whoa. Is that a laptop? <laughs> Nowadays, it's called a portable computer. This is our best friend's camping trip. That means me, you, Hank, and no laptops. Hi, guys. Huh? Oh, and I also invited Angela. If that desert is hiding dinosaur bones, they will be mine! And I invited Ginger. Someone has to teach him about nature. Hold on. Five people on a three-person best friends trip? What's wrong with us coming? Uh, let's see. Five is not three. Don't worry, Pat. We're still going to do the same things we do every year. Plus, we'll get to witness the rarest sight in nature. <gasps> a half bird, half snake man? Even better, an ultra moon. That's when the moon comes so close, it's like ultra. I don't see it. It's not out yet. It's still daytime. Okay, everyone, according to my checklist, it's time for our first night hacky sack session. Tom? Hey, later, Ben. I'm cooking here. Okay, while we wait for you, Hank, Ginger, let's get kicking. I feel like playing some music. I'm gonna go look for dinosaur bones! I see. I guess I'm the only one who cares about tradition. La 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 la! <laughs> All right, everybody, try and guess the song. <gasps> No. Here, let me play the hook. <gasps> That's the exact same note! Hank, please stop. Everyone knows we don't play Guess the Song until the second night of the Best Friends trip. Look! The Ultra Moon is rising! <sighs> Looking at the Ultra Moon reminds me of a song. <gasps> Now that's dance the night for you. You guessed it. <laughs> what? Oh, come on. <laughs> Go ahead, Tom. Bring Angela. Sure, Hank. Bring Ginger, too. Why not? Say, hey, someone should call up Santa and see if he's busy. <sighs> At least I have you, smuggled laptop. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, let's see now. Wi-Fi in the middle of the desert? Hi, you up? Am I up? Who is this? The moon. Ah, you're being funny. Who is this really? Ow! Who threw that? <laughs> huh? Wait, that tastes just like a moon rock! Yes, I have a lot of those because I'm the moon. Okay, but how am I talking to you? You're way too far away to get a signal. Usually that's true, but tonight I'm much, much closer to you. 
Did you get Wi-Fi just for this Ultramoon? I've always had it. I just don't ever get to use it. Then you have some catching up to do. Wanna watch a funny internet video? What's a video? Oh boy, where do I even start? <laughs> what do you know about kittens? <laughs> you sign off first. No, you sign off first. I did, and I logged back on, and you're still on. No. What's I going on? Shh. I don't know. I found him like this. <laughs> Maybe he's a <laughs> desert crazy. Hey, Ben, oh, what are you doing? Uh, just chatting with the moon. I thought you weren't going to bring your laptop. Oh, you brought Angela. Hank brought Ginger. And thanks to my laptop, I found the moon. Wait, is that really the moon? Of course not. Huh. Then how do you explain this sudden eclipse? Yeah, good one, Moon. Whoa. Whoa. Ah, 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 ah. Did you see that eclipse? <sighs> That's Angela. Remember I told you about how she gets? Mm, you know, she's exactly like you described her. Wait, what? Well, are you and the Moon coming on the hike with us? Oh, can you? Oh, I wish. It's time for me to set. Aw. Uh -huh. When can I chat with you again? I'll be back in 14,000 years. 14,000? Oh, well, uh, okay. I, it was nice meeting you, I guess. Yeah, I'll miss you, Ben. Ah, here's a crazy idea. What if I didn't set so we could keep hanging out? Yes, you could do that? Then you could go on the hike with us. Uh, okay, <laughs> I'd love to. Yes! Hey, buddy. A little farther and we'll be at Pleasant Springs, the highlight of every best friend camping trip, right? Ben? <laughs> I have to. <laughs> That's all I've got. No. Uh, what's so funny? I could tell you, but the moon doesn't think you'll get it. <laughs> really? I mean, I am pretty good at getting things, but whatever. <laughs> Okay, we're laughing because I meant to send Ben a winky face, but I accidentally sent him a kissy face. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was a lucky accident. <laughs> kissy, kissy. Oh, so cute, so funny. You make such a good couple. Okay, the moon needs to go now. Look, I know the moon is annoying, but she makes Ben happy. Hold on, I gotta get a screenshot of this. Winky face, smiley face. Ugh, vomit. Yeah, okay, I'll talk to him. <laughs> Say cheese. Hey, Ben, some of us were thinking maybe it's time for the moon to, I don't know, set? Huh? Who's some of us, Angela? Can the moon not be part of this conversation? <laughs> Anything you want to say to me, you can say to the moon. Tell him, Benny. Okay. There's supposed to be a best friend vibe on this trip, but the moon, who I think is totally cool, is kind of pulling you away from the group. Don't let him talk about us like that, Ben Ben. Uh, nobody talks about my girlfriend that way. Moon, come on, we're out of here. That moon is trouble. Yeah, something needs to be done. I have an idea. And I have a dinosaur bone! So, now that we're alone, was that true, what you said back there? Am I really your girlfriend? Well, do you want to be? Do I want to be? Does this answer your question? Oh. 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 Ooh. Oh. Moon, you are so hot. Oh, Ben, stop it. <laughs> I am just a lonely asteroid lost in this desert. If only there are a handsome, uh, uh, an average looking man to help me. What do you uh, guys think you're doing? Trying to save the best friend camping trip. Uh, you're the one who ruined it when you let Angela and Ginger come. Hey. Well, you ruined the hike. You and the moon. Oh, I get what's going on here. You're jealous because you wish you had the kind of connection with Angela that I have with the moon. What? This Angela? What gave you that in 
impression. Admit it, Tom. You wish you could do this. Moon, since the first time I saw you, I wanted to kiss you. <gasps> kiss me, Ben. Best friends camping trip? Yes! Us! Best friends, remember? Wow. I don't know what to say. I had no idea a relationship with the moon would cause this much trouble. Yeah, I know it's hard, but you're doing the right thing breaking up with her. <gasps> ben? What? No, no, that's not what's happening here. What? Take care, Tom. Well, this is it. Goodbye, Ma. Where are you going, Ben? To the moon, Mom. To the moon. Okay. Previously on Talking Tom and Friends. Oh, hold on. Five people on a three-person best friends trip? You're being funny. Who is this? The moon. Is that really the moon? That moon is trouble. Nobody talks about my girlfriend that way. Moon, come on. We're out of here. Where are you going, Ben? To the moon, Mom. To the moon. I'm so not worried about not having Ben here to run Tom and Ben Enterprises. I, I don't need him. I mean, in a way, I'm glad that he's gone. Now there's no one to say, no, that's stupid. No, that's impossible. No, we can't make an update that makes your phone taste like chocolate. From now on, there's only yes. 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 Yes! <laughs> I can't believe you live out here. This is way better than Earth. Watch this. Kaboom! Wow, Ben. I didn't know you could dunk. I'm impressed. Oh, it's no big deal. Want me to do it again? Whoa! What's that? Oh, that's Dale. He's a comet. And a show-off. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Moon, I've never been happier. Mm, me neither, my angel. Me neither. <laughs> I promised my fans an update to the My Talking Tom app, and that's what I'm going to give them. Today? That's right. Have you even started working on the update yet? Nope. But that's not a problem. But Ben's not here. Exactly. Now there's no one to slow us down. Now all we have to do is pick an idea, make it, and release it. Ready? Here's my first idea. I love it. Not yet, Hank, but I like your enthusiasm. Now here we go. I'm going to give my app something called... The Quackulator. It's like a calculator, but it quacks. Okay, I love that even more. I don't. That's just the beginning. I'm also going to add a feature I'm calling uh, a Talking Tom Tom. You know, Tom Tom. The drum. Talking Tom Tom. Oh, yeah, Talking Tom Tom. Um, what exactly does it uh, do do? Well, it takes whatever you say and it turns it into a drum beat. So it's your words if your words were drum beats. Talking Tom Tom. <laughs> Did I love that idea? Mm -mm. I didn't even like that idea. But can I be supportive to a good friend? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're all agreed. Talking Tom Tom is brilliant. Now for the easy part. The computer stuff. Have you ever even done computer stuff before? I can figure it out. Um, uh, you want me to turn it on? Huh? Uh, yes, I do. Oh! <laughs> Benny, that tickles. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> 
this must be love. <laughs> I've never felt this way before. I'm so Is that crater shaped like a heart? Where's Hank? Ready to do our. Okay, I'll say something and you drum it back to me. Not yet. My name is Tom, my partner Ben. Is on the moon, so who needs him? It works! All right. Now we just have to get this into there. Hank, stop drumming. Ooh, 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 ooh. Sorry. See, guys? We're doing great without Ben. If he were here, there's no way we'd be doing the talking Tom Tom. Yeah, he would have killed this idea four hours ago. Exactly. That's my point. Ben only knows how to say no, right? Yeah. Angela, remember that time he shot down your totally great idea? Oh, I remember it like it was yesterday. When the children eat, the future is gold. <coughs> Can't sing. Need drink. Angela, no! Those are nails! Hmm? <sighs> wow. By saying no, he kind of saved my career. Okay. So, that wasn't a great example. But you can't deny that Ben is just a big no. Yeah! I'll never forget the one time he told me no. Ready, bugs and stupid! No way. No, Ginger! No, 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 no! You can't give up. Get back on that bike. No, I believe in you. I know you can do this. I'm doing it, Ben! I'm doing it! I'm the happiest boy in the world! You weren't supposed to see that. That's the wrong flashback. But you get it, right? Ben said no. Um, what? Quit smiling at me. I know what you mean, Ginger. Ben's negative attitude really upset you. I have a story where Ben said no. Enough hey. about Ben! We need to focus on getting the My Talking Tom Tom update ready. No more stories about Ben, okay? I kind of miss Ben. No, you don't. None of us do. What? Talking Tom Tom test, what is this? Talking Tom Tom, test run video number eight. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Ben, and I wish I was as creative as Tom. Darn. <laughs> Still stuck in cow mode. Okay, this update might be a crazy idea, but it's important to Tom, so it's important to me. I don't know if Tom will ever see this video, <gasps> but if he ever did, I would say, I'm trying, buddy. Give up on my friend. No way. <laughs> well, that was stupid, right? <sighs> I got something in my eye. It's hot in here, and I'm going outside. It is a tad toasty in here. Hi, Ben. What you doing? Uh, just making an app that lists all the fun adventures we could go on together. Oh, like flying through an asteroid belt? Well, that might be a little deadly for me, but yeah, I guess that kind of thing. I know what we can do right now. Let's sit back and relax and watch the sunset. Yeah, sunset. That's a great idea. <sighs> this moment is perfect. You're right. It is perfect. Uh -oh. Moon. 
I know this might seem quite sudden, but... Uh, what are you trying to say, Benny? Moon, would you be my... Hey! What's going on here? Jeff? Who's he? I pop down to Earth for some groceries and I come back to this. Moon? Oh, my goodness. <sighs> I thought I could run this company by myself. But why would I want to? I can't even turn on a clacking computer without my best friend. Ugh, I give up. This business is ruined. You can't have Tom and Ben Enterprises without Ben. I guess he had to go all the way to the moon for us to finally appreciate him. We didn't even get the chance to say goodbye. <sighs> goodbye to whom? Ben! Ben! Yeah, Ben! <laughs> oh, I'm so ben, glad you're back. See you, buddy. Come here. Oh, oh, hug ben. him. Oh, this is the boot yeah. happening. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's hug Finish up now. What made you come back? I uh, just <laughs> knew that you needed me. So, yeah, that's the answer. But you and the moon were so into each other. Hey, hey enough moon talk, right? I say we find a way to give our fans the My Talking Tom update you promised them. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Do you have any ideas? Tons! And you're gonna love them all. How about My Talking Tom Krill Tracker? Nope! Pajama Namer? Nope! Oh, you'll love this one. My Talking Tom Stripe Counter. It counts stripes! Right? No! No? But I even said right? Okay, okay, okay. How about the My Talking Tom Tom? It takes whatever you say and turns it into a drum beat. That could work. I actually almost have it figured out. You do? Yeah, you just have to take the syncopation of the drum beat and then you take the code and put it in. I crash landed the helicopter and saved the queen, and the people cheered and sang with joy. Happy Halloween! AKA Candy Day! AKA the best day of the year! AKA a birthday for Candy! Who's ready to go trick or treating? And that's when I finally made the switch oh. from drinking cold water uh -huh. to drinking room temperature water. Oh, yeah, I see. that makes sense. What's going on here? Why are you sitting around talking when we could be out getting free candy? <laughs> Ginger, we're adults. If we want candy, we can just go buy some. Oh, so you're just coming with me while I trick-or-treat. I don't think you understand. Trick-or-treating isn't on our schedule tonight. What? But wait, are you saying... Don't touch it. <gasps> Sorry. Listen, it's cold, it's dark, Hank still hasn't returned my scuba diver costume. Oh, that was a costume. No wonder the tag on it said, do not wear it in water. The point is, we're not really doing Halloween this year, Ginger. Not doing candy! Uh... Ginger, I'm a grown-up now. I drink room temperature water. I can't be out running around with children in costumes. You'll be sorry you didn't take me trick-or-treating. And you'll be sorry you said such mean things about me. Um, we didn't say any mean things about you, Ginger. Well, I'm sure you thought that. Mm, he's got us there. All right, who's ready for this year's Scarathon TV Marathon? Woohoo! me! about to enter a place beyond a place beyond another place some things are the same here but some are different are ghosts real do aliens exist what is the tooth fairy doing with all those teeth everything isn't black and white but this show is you've just crossed over into the sundown center <laughs> boring did you seriously pick an old black and white show for this year's scarathon why does it matter if it's in black and white. It's boring. 
this is Halloween. The Scarathon should be scary. Au contraire, mon scare. Black and white can be very scary, especially if I use this. The Total TV Immersion app. It makes it feel like you're in the show. It'll have you shaking in your Halloween boots. Ooh, I'm so scared. You will be. Whoa. Whoa. Is Whoa. this real? This is awesome. It's just like we're in the Sundown Sector. Maybe we are. Total immersion. Today's story is about a monster. Not a monster that lurks in the dark. Not a monster with fangs or claws. This monster is an adorable little boy. Ah! All right, listen up. Because I'm nice, I'm going to give you one more chance. You can either come trick-or-treating with me now, or you can suffer the consequences. Ginger, this is getting annoying. How many times do we have to tell you no? No, 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 no. <gasps> what just happened? Uh, where did Ben go? Now, do you want me to turn you into an app? Or do you want to do exactly what I say? to break, Ginger. We're exhausted from following all of your fun orders. Turn the TV off, Hank! Mm. I can't. The Halloween episode of Bongo and McGillicuddy's about to start. Mm. I mean, I can't do that. The Halloween episode of Bongo and McGillicuddy's about to start. Turn it off now, Hank, or I'll send you into my phone like I did to Ben! Mm. I I just can't! Please don't punish me! I physically can't turn off the TV if Bago and the Gillicuddy is on! <laughs> Anyone else? Come on, Ginger! This isn't funny anymore! Let us out! All right! Time to go check our training! Huh? You're gonna hold my extra bags! Great! And Angela, you're gonna carry me so my feet don't get sore! Great <laughs> idea! Right, Angela? <laughs> Angela! What are you doing? I am finished doing what Ginger tells us to do. Excuse me? You heard me! I said I'm not going to listen to you anymore! You're just a little brat who gets mad when he doesn't get his way, and I have had enough! Ah! No! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ginger, you can't just push people around and intimidate them into doing what you want. That's funny, because I actually can't do that. Ginger, Ginger, listen, I, I, I want to say that I am really sorry for the whole running and chasing and, and yelling thing. I actually like following your orders. I, j j just give me another one and I'll do it right away. Sorry, Tom. It's too late. You had your chance. Ginger, please. <laughs> no. Hey, Tom. What is this? 
Wait, are, are we in... Yeah, we're inside Ginger's phone. And by the looks of it, we're trapped. Things were pretty bad in here for a while, but then the couch and the TV just appeared out of nowhere. It was awesome. Speak for yourself. When the couch appeared, it landed on me. How did that happen? What's that sound? What sound? <gasps> Bend to your left! <laughs> and then move to your left. Are you sure we can't escape? There has to be some way out of here. I don't even see any doors or walls. It's like we're in a totally different plane of existence or something. Well, at least we're not just sitting around the garage. We keep saying we need to get out more, and we finally did. I'm proud of us. You know, this same thing happened on an episode of the Sundown Sector. I guess we'll just have to do what those characters did. Witches. I mean, not like witches, but witches. Give up. Give up? You mean just stop trying to escape? Yep, there's no way out, so might as well get comfortable. Are you crazy? There is no way I'm giving up that easily. Hey, Ginger, you hear me out there? You're not gonna get away with this. We'll escape somehow, and when we do, you'll win. What is that? What is that? Wait, what? I told you old things can be good and scary. You guys don't think something like that is really possible, right? I mean, I, I know it's just a show, but you don't think that... Ah! Hey guys, I'm back! Ah! And I got tons of candy! Ah! What's wrong with you guys? Nothing. Yeah, nothing's wrong. Everything is great. Just perfect. Okay, if you say so. Hey, the Sundown Sector. I remember this show. I used to watch this with my parents. They said I reminded them of some character on there. I don't remember who, though. Isn't that weird? I said, isn't that weird? <laughs> The Kitazi Derby. It's more than a horseshoe tournament. It's neighbors dueling in the sand pit on hot summer days. It's a competition with stakes as high as the temperatures on the sizzling grill. It's a winner-take-all battle for the rights to operate the neighborhood vending machine. But this year, a new team is poised to win the cup. With Ben's secret throwing equation and Tom's natural throwing skills, the team has pitched their way to the finals and now stand ready to dethrone the reigning champs. It's Ginger and the Gardener versus Tom and Ben. According to my calculations, we can't be beat. Hmm. <laughs> The Kentasi Derby Finals, tomorrow, my yard. Wow, did Ben really come up with a math equation to win at horseshoes? Oh, no big deal. Just a matter of figuring out the exact calculations for air resistance, gravity, and velocity. Once you have that, it's easy to pitch the perfect distance. Ah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Actually, it is a big deal. To develop my horseshoe equation, I had to solve a problem posed by Sir Isaac Newton that no one could figure out for over 300 years. Whatever. The important thing is you're finally using your brains for something useful. <laughs> Defeating Ginger and Horseshoes! Yeah, uh... Where are you leaving me hanging, Ben? 
Well, it looks like news of my horseshoe equation is out. The professors at the University of Science and Technology have invited me to help them conduct an experiment. Whoa, congratulations. Hey, that's awesome. There's just one problem. It's at the same time as the finals of the horseshoe tournament. Well, I'm sure there will be other <laughs> university experiments. Wait, you want me to turn down this opportunity so I can play horseshoes? Uh, kinda. Is that wrong? This is a chance for me to build a name for myself, to be recognized as a great thinker by other great minds. Who cares what these university types think? You don't belong there anyway. You're, you're one of us. Sorry, Tom. When the university calls, the scholar answers. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must find my lab coat. I feel so naked. Mm, tough break. You losing your partner at all? Yeah, looks like we'll win again. These electrolyte-filled drinks will remain in our control another year. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> ah! Thank you for coming in and helping us with this experiment. We couldn't do this work without brave folks like you. Well, with all the gifts I've been given, the least I can do is give something back to science. Oh, is that my desk? <laughs> wow! So, tell me about the work we're doing here. Okay. In this lab, we study something called electromagnetic fields. Or EMF. Ben, can you say EMF? <laughs> You're talking to a guy who just solved Newton's 300-year-old horseshoe equation. So, yeah. I think I know what EMFs are. Very good. Since you seem so smart, I guess we can go into a little more detail about what we're doing here. But we'll have to tell you from the other room, if that's okay. No problem. My own office in a real research lab. Ben, you're finally where you belong. Okay, Ben. Here's what we do in this laboratory. Our previous experiments have shown that exposure to electromagnetic fields created by Wi-Fi and cell phones is completely harmless. Uh, that's not exactly true. It really depends on the strength of the signal and whether... Shh. Completely harmless. So, since those EMFs are completely harmless, what about exposure to really, really, really strong EMFs? Wouldn't it be cool to see what they do to people? Uh, I know I'm the new guy here, but that's not really how science works, is it? Sure it is. Hey, what are those for? Oh, uh, we're blasting you with electromagnetic energy. Uh, what kind? Oh, all kinds. Is this how you treat all of your guest scientists? Guest scientists? You don't even have a university degree. You're a test subject. What on earth made you think you were a guest scientist? Uh, this letter you sent me? <laughs> <laughs> we send that letter out to everyone. <laughs> now, the trick is to throw it straight and get it as close to the stake as you can. Yes. Whoa. Now you try. Okay. Ben! You're home! This is great! How is the, uh, experiment? Great. They said they couldn't do it without me. Then what are you doing home already? Oh, who cares? The important thing is you're here! Just in time to win the Kadasi Derby! I'm not playing horseshoes. Why not? You seem angry. They didn't fire you, did they? Of course not! My colleagues at the lab have asked me to do some home research. Ever since you went away to college, you've changed, man. Whoa! Changed. You can say that again. I... Oh! Blasting me with electromagnetic radiation like I'm some kind of test subject. Ah! What is that supposed to even do? Ah! 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 Keys. Ben! Would you mind closing the garage door? Ooh, that's not good. Ben? You found my keys! I mean, 
Are you okay? Yes. No! I need you to reverse my polarity. That's disgusting. I'm a magnet! Look, it's simple. Just get some copper wire and some cobalt. No, make that nickel. Actually, get any rare earth metal you can find, then coil the wire. Or I could just do this. No! Oh! <laughs> oh. Shut up no. and oh. stop fighting! I'm not! I'll go get Tom. No! Do not tell Tom about this. Don't tell me what? <laughs> no! Yeah, Ben's a magnet. A magnet? Did the university do this to you? No! I don't want to talk about it. Hey, losers! First pitch is in five minutes! It's time to come out and accept your inevitable defeat. Accept it! <laughs> We're gonna go. Go out and play, Tom. Maybe you can beat them without me. Well, I don't want to beat them without you. We're a team! And I'm... Sorry I wasn't more supportive of your science thing. No, you were right. I don't belong at that university. You're the smartest guy I know. You belong wherever you want. Yes, I'm very, very intelligent, but they treated me like some sort of animal to do tests on. Who cares what they think? They're the lab animals, working in some boring lab, being told what to do, but you followed your heart instead of your head, and you're better off for it. I do have the freedom that they'll never have. Definitely. And I'll never have to blast anyone with electromagnetic energy. We're already bathing in it all day. Now, how do we get you unstuck? I don't know. The more I struggle, the stronger the magnetic pull gets. And the more I relax, the weaker it gets. Okay, then. You just have to relax. That shouldn't be too hard. Yes! Relax! I'll try that. It's not working. You're relaxing too hard. Try unclenching your butt cheeks. Uh, ben, when you're really tense, you walk like this. I don't walk like that, do I? Mm. So, maybe if you relax the biggest muscles you have, your whole body will relax. That makes no sense, Hank. Just do it, Ben. Well, okay. Hey, you're right. The more I relax, the less magnetic I get. And the more I clench, the more magnetic I get. Ben, if you learn to control your magnetic powers, you can be a superhero. Yes! Hey, losers! Uh, oh, Come man. on, lose! Or at least win the Contossi Derby. Yeah, let's start with that. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> Prepare to feel the magnetic powers of both! <sighs> oh, shoot. Ben's control over his anger and his magnetic powers was short-lived. So the Derby Cup and the rights to the neighborhood vending machine remained in the hands of the current champions. Ah! And Ben was revived and demagnetized by the electrolytes in his favorite sports drink. Yes! With the certainty of gravity pulling a swirling metal shoe back to Earth, you can count on Ben and Tom to return next year, ready to battle for the right to be called Kintossi Derby Champions! Wow, no, 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 the food is for guests. Guests only! What? I'm a guest? <laughs> How could you get invitation? You're wearing your scarf backwards. Wow, no, 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 the food is for guests. Guests only! What? I'm a guest? <laughs> How could you get invitation?